Hi everyone, welcome to my Road to Wellness series and I want to firstly say this, this is what success looks like and I want to take a sip of it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Why? Why is this delicious beverage to me success? Because it's not throwing me off my healthy lifestyle. It's not throwing me off my goal to compete in October. It is delicious. It is fulfilling my cravings. And it's no more than 15 calories. This is success. So let me, you want to know what it's, what's in it? Can you guys see that? So you've got, this is a iced Americano, grande iced Americano. It has two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, two Splendas, and it's blended with a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. Cinnamon. Cinnamon on top. Why do I have to say it that way? Cinnamon. And it's 15 calories. This is what success looks like. I need to, because of that, cheers. I need another sip. Mm hmm. And why am I focusing on success today? Well, because I love um, this particular definition. I heard it this morning from Earl Nightingale. He said that success is habits that failure doesn't like to do. I'm going to say that again. Success is habits that failure doesn't like to do. Now, don't get me wrong. There are things that I don't like to do. Like, for example, this morning, my booty was aching from two days ago. I had a really tough leg workout. And did I feel like working on my booty again today? No, I didn't feel like it. But success is doing the thing that you know you should be doing even when you don't feel like it. That is success. Success is able to being able to enjoy foods or, or beverages that you love that don't throw you totally off your healthy lifestyle. That is success. So over the next 90 days, if you haven't seen day one and day two, go back, do the challenge. Today's challenge is all about, I want to know what is your definition of success? And for me, I serve women over 40 who are who have been unsuccessful in living a healthy lifestyle. Maybe it's because the diet was too restrictive. Maybe it's because they injured themselves from doing workouts that they shouldn't have been doing in the first place because they jumped, you know, in the deep end when really maybe what they should have been doing is just walking every day for 20 minutes. So Leading a successful lifestyle, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be restrictive. And so what I want to know, your challenge for today is type in the chat box, what is your definition of success? How, how would you define living a healthy lifestyle? How would you know that you're being successful? Type that in the chat box. Let me know what is your definition of success? Because I don't know if you guys can see this, but you know what strong is? Strong is sexy. And it's not even being physically strong. It's mentally strong. And what we teach at R3, with the women that we serve over 40, we teach them how to develop their get-up muscle. Because the challenge, the challenge, it's the challenge is not shaping your body. It's it's shifting your mind when things get hard and not giving up. Shaping your body is not the challenge. It's shifting your beliefs when you want to give up. So I want to challenge you to define what does success mean to you. And next time you feel like you have failed, there's nothing wrong with failing. We all fail. But at R3, what we teach our students, what we teach our women is fail forward. What was, what was the lesson in that? So perhaps you went to Starbucks and you bought something and you didn't realize that it was 190 calories. Well, here's the lesson. You don't have to go to Starbucks and get that calorie, you know, sugar laden drink. 
you can order something like this, which is 15 calories, and it's not going to throw you off your game. You're not going to feel guilty. And here's another tip. I want to throw in a bonus for you guys. There are three questions that I I encourage our students to ask themselves when they are tempted to eat or drink something they know they shouldn't. Number one, am I going to be able to stop after one bite or one sip? Because it's like that. It's like those Lay's chips, right? People say, oh, I can stop after one. No, you can't. No, you can't. Let's get real. You're going to eat the whole container. Okay. Some of you are like, oh, I'm just going to have one square of chocolate. No, you're not. You're going to demolish the whole thing, right? So if you can't stop after one bite, <laughs> Coach Nelson's like, where's mine? I'll save you half. This is mine. This is mine. Okay. If you cannot stop after one bite or after one sip, don't even go there. If there's no other alternatives, right? Number two, are you going to feel guilty after you eat or drink this thing? Because that's what happens. You know, you know, if you feel guilty, you know that you're like, you know what? That's the domino of, well, I messed up. I might as well forget it. I'm going to I'm going to forget my workout today. I messed up or you know what? I messed up my lunch. You know what? I'm, I might as well mess up my dinner and I'll start again on Monday. Right. Are you going to feel guilty after you after you eat or drink that thing? And then the last thing is, is this eating or drinking this thing? Is it moving me towards my goal? to be healthy or is it moving away from my goal? Or in other words, is this going to expand my waistline or help shrink it, <laughs> right? So what does success look like to you? Define that, I'm really looking forward to reading your definitions and we'll see you next time here on the road to wellness. You're exactly what awesome looks like and cheers to your success. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine, Coach Nelson, I'll give you a sip.